everybody what is up it is your favorite health and beauty professional kiki Carr. welcome to makeup but first skincare a series in which i teach women of color how to treat their dark spots and acne at home so if that is something that you are interested in be sure to stay tuned here as I stated my name is Kiki Carr I am a licensed esthetician a cosmetic formulator and I most certainly do hold a whole bunch of scientific degrees however none of that qualifies me to talk about the subject of acne more than actually having the condition myself so I figured let me start bringing you guys what it is that I do to keep my skin clear because people just cannot believe I have problematic skin they tell me that my skin is beautiful all of the time and let me tell you it definitely takes diligence and it takes consistency and it took me a lot of trial and error so now that I know all of the secrets to clear skin I said I want to share with you what it is that I do what it is that I use to keep my skin clear so starting with the skincare per usual my skin is already toned okay we have the Avo cosmetics toner on it because child no more ashy intros like <laughs> period so I have my toner on and I'm going to go in with my skincare products now this video is flawless skin and tan and let me tell you what it is that I did I applied a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup and it took me a long way I was so pleased I did a reel with this stuff and I was so pleased with how my makeup look I said I definitely got to put this on YouTube and show my girls over there because ugh, less is more what I preach to you guys all of the time now I definitely do love a full face a full beat but you know first off you know if you do it that it's the touching up it's the blotting it's the making sure that it looks right all throughout the day and then secondly it kind of ages you you know what I mean I am an auntie in real life okay and I just really loved how fresh and awake and youthful that I looked just having on just this a little bit of makeup and I think like that's the goal like we want to look cute we don't want to look older we want to look younger if anything we want to look better if anything we want to look more pulled together we're not trying to be out here you know what I mean looking worse and we done put all this effort in I really like I, I love the full glam and I do it and I recommend it for photography like if I'm gonna be taking pictures it's New Year's Eve it's a wedding it's a baby shower it's a birthday it's anything that you're gonna be under flash photography yes get the full face this look that I'm about to do today is not for the lights and the flash photography and all of that stuff like that but in real life it's absolutely beautiful and stunning and you just look amazing and that's like the difference that's the balance like when we see all of this beautiful makeup on Instagram they're under lights they're under filters they you know it's it's a picture you see what I'm saying and it's a beautiful picture but in real life it's a lot it looks like a lot it translates like a lot you know what I mean you know you don't look light you don't look fresh so yeah enough rambling let's get on to the skincare so for this flawless skin and tan I definitely used my glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dewdrops like honey I was so afraid to use these dewdrops I used it like once or twice or something like that but I was very afraid to use it because it's fragrance it like it smells just like watermelon and I was like uh, I don't really like putting stuff on my skin that smells like stuff okay like I like my stuff to be fragrance free if it smells like any type of fragrance at all I'm very skeptical and scared about it but I have been using this and I am proud and happy and excited to report one I have not had any breakouts at all 
Two, I haven't had any irritation or reacted to this at all. And three, I absolutely love it. This stuff really makes my skin feel so soft. Like my skin feels amazing and my skin feels so good when I put this on. So we put on a little bit of the glow recipe and we're all hydrated and we're looking good. Then we went in with the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Now I have talked to you about the CeraVe moisturizing cream before. I use this whenever I know I'm gonna put on makeup because it's very light, it's very matte, it's very creamy, it's very hydrating, and has all of the good ingredients to like feed the skin and make you look all plump and everything like that. Then I hit my skin with some concealers and you know like a couple of hourglass concealers and I did my brows and that was it like that was the look and it was such a vibe I looked so good I looked so fresh I looked so youthful like my skin looked amazing I was like wow like whoa like my skin is looking on 10 like skin on 10 matter of fact that's the name of this Skin on 10, baby, like for real, like, let me get into it, you finna say. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my brows, of course. Okay, so now that the brows are done, the next thing I did was I went in with my flesh tone, hourglass concealer and then I follow that up with my under eye my highlighting hourglass concealer and I want you to take note on just how little I use like I'm putting a couple of dots you guys Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my highlighting hourglass um, concealer and we about to be done. And I'm just using a sponge now to pick up the excess product. That's the great thing about a sponge is one, it simultaneously presses in and makes it look more skin light because it picks up excess product. Okay, and then I went in with my Love Yourself bronzer and I just bronzed up my face ever so slightly because let's keep it real. Skin is skin and it's going to look like skin and the only way you're going to have flawless skin is if you do put on a little bit of makeup. Okay, and then I went in with my gray eyeline pencil from Sephora. Ugh, like I have really been loving this as opposed to black or brown. It really gives like my makeup another element that is like a surprise, a cute little surprise. Like, oh, gray. Now we're gonna put on a little bit of Sweet as Cocoa Blush. You guys know how I feel about this. It just is seamless and it just melts everything all together. Then I just popped on a Dinner and Drinks Lash. You guys know where this is at, optimalbeauty.net. Actually, this one is not on the site, but let me know if you love it so much that you need me to put it on the site, cause I will. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with Max Whirl. Now I'm gonna throw a gloss on top because what would the world be if we didn't have gloss? This is Max Dangerous Curves. I feel like it pairs perfectly with this. Just looking like you have, you know, just looking like you drink your water. Looking like you drink your water, you know what I mean? That's what this look is giving, that you are a water drinker. If you liked today's video, go ahead and hit like. I mean, you liked it, so like the video. 
share it with somebody that you think can use the skincare tips if you yourself can use the skincare tips please subscribe comment below let me know what you think about how this flawless skin in 10 makeup look turned out and i'll be sure to see you on the next one Mwah!